let's get it. DHK for dummies, part five. Is it part five? Part six. Three words. Secure payment method. Use a third party authorization service. And this goes for all websites when online shopping, especially for out of the country services. Use PayPal, use Afterpay, use all of those websites to where as though it's only authorizing the exact amount. Y'all don't remember people saying that Shein was selling our information and people confirmed that it was people typing in their information directly into the website? That's like writing down your credit card number and giving it to somebody. It's the same thing. They're allowed to use whatever system they have to charge your card whatever amount. But that's again. Use Apple Pay. If you have the DHK app, use Apple Pay. Use PayPal. I think on a computer, PayPal may be available. PayPal is definitely available on AliExpress. Use third-party U.S. authorization services. If you say anything about my wig in my last video, you're anti-black. This is the same wig, and I fixed it. But you know why I'm here. Deals Gear for Dummies, part seven. Lower your expectations when it comes to shipping time. Sorry, just, just do it. Y'all be ready to call the bank in two weeks. It could take five days. It could take four days. It could take four months. No telling what's the reason. It could be stuck in customs. They could be waiting to combine a package that you ordered after the first package that was already at customs is there. Seller could have gave you the wrong tracking number. It's happened to you before. They could be on a holiday. We could be on a holiday. You never know. Stay in contact with your seller. Stay on top of your tracking. It's the best you can do. It's coming from overseas. Have lower expectations. First, I want to thank you guys so much for engaging with my content. I'm glad you enjoy it. And like I said, this is for educational purposes only. So if you do have a negative comment that you want to leave, it will be deleted and you will be blocked. You're not the targeted audience and I don't care what you have to say. This is my account, not yours. But anyway, DHK for Dummies, part eight. Now, I've already told y'all a few times to reach out to the seller. Let's talk about how to talk to the seller. When you're communicating with the seller, keep it short. Keep it short and keep it straight to the point because a lot of times they don't really understand English that well. Some do, a lot do, but there are also some that have a bit of trouble and they are also using a translation system on the app and also online, AliExpress as well. With using that translation system, a lot of times they're typing it in their language and the app or the program is translating it for you. Like your language is being translated for them and their language is being translated for you. So sometimes the conversation may be a little bit confusing. So just remain patient, keep your words generic, don't, don't use too many big words. Keep it straight to the point. Keep it simple. You should be all right. This part is going to be dedicated to the plus size community, men and women included. DHK for Dummies, part nine. I got some bad news for y'all. When it comes to clothing from DHK and AliExpress, they're not size inclusive. Not at all. Nine times out of 10, their largest size is a double XL, two X. And that size to them is much smaller than it is here in the US. You may be able to get a few sweatsuits. You may be able to get a few sets, maybe crewnecks. I doubt t-shirts, but then again, you never know. But always check the details of the item you're looking at. They will give you the centimeter by centimeter measurements. And also the material of the item to see if it stretches and understand that it's gonna be your judgment to purchase that item or not. Simply because you're going based off of what you see in the picture, what you see your favorite creator wearing. You just simply have to eyeball it and it's up to you. But just know that they are not size inclusive. You know why I'm here. But first, our friend over the fence, they uh, sent us a little something. And they go to box. Because you know they like to play soccer over at customs. Not too much. But these are the shoes. There you go. You want you a pair? I always put the site in the video. Come on now, let's get to one. It's in the video and also in the BIO. Speaking of sizing, DH Gate for Dummies, part 10. And also, parts 1 through 5 is already available on YouTube, but once 10 is up, all 10 parts will be on YouTube. In the BIO. Since I know y'all are visual learners, a chart will be in the video to help you all. But DHK only uses one metric system when it comes to sizing. Shoe sizes, that is. And that's European sizing. Yes, they may have the U.S. conversion immediately next to the European size, but that is to help us, their largest consumer. But if they don't, the sizing will always be 
in European sizing. So if your size is smaller than a four and a half, which is a European size 35, your sizes are toddler sizes, no longer women's sizes. They will be toddler sizes. Just how people get Uggs and children's sizes, it's the same thing on DHK. Okay, so this part gets a little tricky. In the beginning, I said a women's size four is a size European 35, right? It's also a size four and a half by their sizing chart. Also, a women's size six could be a European size 36, 37. So this is why I say always size up at least a half a size bigger. Or if you're having trouble, nine times out of ten, if you're buying an adult shoe, if you're over those smaller sizes, you can go by your men's size. Hopefully that helps.